Told you earlier, Georgia will not go quietly. And that's going to be it for Clayton Allison. I think Mike Batesel wanted to have his senior finish this thing off, but he gave up a base hit and a walk. 13 saves this year, making his 38th appearance. The only runs he's given up here at the College World Series are against this Georgia team. David oh, Tom oh, oh, taps oh. it foul. The reason I mentioned at the start of the inning that Gordon Beckham would hit sixth. If you're a Georgia fan, project this. The first five guys get on. Beckham comes up. He represents the winning run. All you have to do is get to him, he said. Burke has other ideas. Just missed. And he asked the home plate umpire, was that outside? Fuller is the pinch runner for Robbie O'Brien. Hit towards short. There's one. Wetzel on the first double play. And the freshman, Danny Muno, who has struggled the entire game with three errors, wasn't going to struggle with that when he got a double play out of it. And boy, you better believe he feels better. He gets to go to his left. He can field it on the forehand side tonight. Three errors, but now he starts a key, key double play to take the air out of the sails of the Georgia Bulldogs. Well, that did almost all of it. Georgia 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position. And that curveball just high to Ryan Pizel. Joey Lewis goes to third. Fresno State could care less about the runner. Now that they have two out, they're just trying to get one more on a, under any circumstance. Two balls and one strike from Burke to Ryan Pizel. Bottom of the ninth in a national championship game. Huh. Strike called 2-2. Two -two. Georgia down to its last out. Fresno State has never won a national championship in a men's sport. Women's softball in 1998. The only championship the school has ever won. Look at Burke's reaction. He wanted that one, but it looked low. Don't get carried away, young man. You've got still a job to do. Sinking fastball that just sinks enough. If you want it so bad, you visualize a strike, the umpire's got a better view. Three and two to Pizel. George is still alive. That one hangs inside. Bulldogs are not quiet creatures and these Georgia Bulldogs will not go quietly. They're projecting the lineup out now the, the winning run is Bryce Massoneri. The tying run would be, be Rich Poitras. But you still have to get two batters up to get there. Here is Olsen. He has been dominated by lefties for most of the night now facing a right hander in this situation. Line to right. Get Cinderella wins a national championship. 